Hey guys, welcome to ADR Tech Reviews. Today, we're going to be unboxing the AMD A10 Sony A50K, their most recent flagship APU based on the Kaveri platform. Now, taking a closer look at the box here, on the top it says A10 Sony A50K. Here closer, looking at it, AMD APU with Radeon R7 graphics. Now, something interesting on the bottom here, it doesn't state the standard clock speed. Standard clock speed is 3.7 gigahertz. Don't get it confused by the max turbo speed of 4.0 gigahertz. But since this is a black edition APU, stated by the K here, if you couldn't read it before, this can be overclocked to your heart's content. Now, it does say 4 megabytes of, of cache. This is actually L2 cache, 2 by 2 megabytes. On the back here, it says 12 compute cores, 4 CPU and 8 GPU. This allows AMD's new technology, Heterogeneous System Architecture, HSA, which allows the 8 GPU cores to work together with for the 4 CPU cores to allow better for performance in day-to-day -day tasks. Now looking to the side here, it doesn't say anything besides the little window for to see the CPU, or the actual APU, better said. On the front, it just states Black Edition. Now on the side, it shows you Heterogeneous Uniform Memory Access. HUMA enables up to 32 gigabytes of shared memory for the APU's CPU and GPU, driving am amazing performance in the same four factor. Now, this allows the memory to be shared by the CPU and GPU, just allowing them to pair up together like that and work together much more fluently. Now, the GPU built in does allow DirectX 11.2, so you can play all your newest games out there. Now, one thing I want to mention is on the sides. As you can see, blank here shows, you know, blank here. No. On the predecessor of these APUs was the A10 6700, but this series really did include a uh, compatible graphics cards to run in Crossfire with the built-in GPU. Now, this one doesn't. I would imagine you can search up the internet for what GPUs this one these are compatible with but if I'm not mistaken it should be the R7 250 which is compatible with this specific APU check that if I were you now let's get to the unboxing by the way I'll have a link right now of the unboxing of this APU All right let's get to this one get my handy dandy knife let's cut this open These are really packed tight. There we go. Let's lift the lid. Now, first take out the stuff from the inside here. Shows here the manual, AMD. Manual for same manual get in all your AMD CPUs. Throw that on the side there. Let's take out the fan. Particularly interesting. This is bigger than the fan I got for the other APU significantly thicker on the heatsink but still not thick enough I wouldn't recommend using this for permanent solutions I would suggest you get another heatsink and fan if you're running on a budget the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo is a perfect choice for you if you're running on a budget just set this aside and let's take out what you paid for what you received this, the APU now so there's a little nice 8 series black edition sticker it does show AMD A10 7800 series which is basically just a series of the APU now this is based on the Kaveri architecture their new architecture it does have a thermal design power of 95 watts and yes it does have R7 series graphics built in mostly taking up m more than half of the die with GPU cores rather than having all the CPU cores take up and just a tiny portion of GPU cores take it up. This is for the socket FM2 Plus motherboard, so you might need to get that, that motherboard to fit this on there. This is a 64-bit CPU. Alright guys, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe, it really helps a lot. And follow my Twitter page at ADR Tech Reviews. Now, I will be posting, benchmarking, and comparison between this CPU and this one right here soon once I get my test, test bench ready. So stay tuned for that. I will be posting a link in the description for the previous APU I just showed. And I'll also be putting it right here in the corner probably as well. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Like I said, like and subscribe. 
See you guys next time.